Greetings and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky, and a huge, huge thank you to all of my patrons and supporters. You are just wonderful. Now we all know the joys of building with a building train, but what if we had something that could make that a whole lot easier? Enter the Building Spidertron. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make best effect of this wonderful new machine. So the first thing you're going to need to do is research the Spidertron. It doesn't cost uh, as much as you might think, uh, but it does require all of the science packs except space science. Uh, and they go for 30 seconds at 2,500 pieces. And that will give you the Spidertron itself as well as the remote. Now the Spidertron is a tiny bit expensive, but hopefully your factory is up to the challenge. I have included the Spidertron in my new mall design. Once you've built your Spidertron, you can find it in your inventory and put it down just like you would a car. Now, when you click on it, you'll have the option here of changing the color, which is a really, really nice addition. And you can change the name. We're going to call this one the Sky Weaver. How about that? Really pretty blue there. And uh, when you uh, assign your remote, you can find your remote in your inventory. And I've go ahead gone ahead and put it on my hotbar, you just click in the middle of it and that allows you to move it around. Now you can use the remote if you're sitting in it or not. Um, right now I'm just directly driving it and you see the little head moves around as you're going or you can use the remote and this is really helpful for say if you want to go somewhere on the map say like over here and you automatically go there. We're going to use this little outpost here to load our Spidertrons and send them off on missions. Now, I've put a little square here for, this is just decorative, but if you click it from this side, uh, it'll go and be fairly centered. Now, if we look at the other little guy, let's get out of our little Spidertron here, and we have it go here and here. And if we go from the left side, it will not be centered. <laughs> so since most of my spider trons are going to come from the right, that's why I've put that square just a tiny bit there. And so they kind of end up centered there. Uh, what I've done is this is going to be my building spider tron. Now, unfortunately, unlike trains, we can't actually copy the internal inventory. That's a bit of a shame. And I hope that that is going to come soon. Um, but what I've done is I've outfitted this particular Spidertron for building the initial parts of Outposts. Now, if you've seen the building train tutorial, you'll know that you can um, build the building train station, but you actually have to go out to the location to build it yourself. Now you can have the Spidertron do that. So I have loaded in 4,000 rails. The number of signals is approximately the ratio of how many signals you'd need for 4,000 rails. We are gonna have ammo here with extra ammo in the trunk. We've got combinators and um, inserters, the uh, signals, cliff explosives, and we have roboports. And then these tiles were just my regular reserved uh, just blank tiles. I was using a chest uh, just to make sure that nothing else gets in there. But I think it's more useful to have tree spaces because this little guy has its own robo ports. This guy will build stuff for you. Uh, this is the loadout. I have two fusion reactors, one set of legs, two batteries, and four personal robo ports. You can change these things up any way you like, but this is kind of what I'm thinking initially. I want it to get they're fairly fast, so that's why I've got the exoskeleton. Um, this guy will have a little tiny radar around it. Um, and that's one of the limiting factors, I think, of this whole thing is that you can only see a very small distance, like from the rail. So I couldn't build a rail all the way out here and just have the Spidertron go along this line. I have to like you know, build, stop, build, stop. But we'll get to that in a second. So how do we load the Spidertron? The best way I figured is to have three steel chests. Um, that should give you enough space for everything in your inventory. Turn off personal logistics, open a chest, and then control click your inventory in the empty space, right? Three chests is enough. Uh, and then I'm going to click these chests get these guys everything in the chest and then load the spidertron this is the reason i have all of the um 
all of these spaces filtered because I only want X amount. Now the rest of this stuff, I'm just going to put it in an active provider chest. And look, the bots are immediately putting it back to refill these chests for the next uh, go around. So let's go ahead and click. If you get an empty space, you can get these back there and voila, there it goes. Now one cool thing that I found is that you can pick up your spider tron and it will be in your inventory with the same icon, but look, it's called the Skyweaver and it has the little blue uh, thingy there. Now the remote becomes inactive because it's not anywhere, but you can place it down uh, and relog the remote. Notice that the remote takes the color of the Spidertron. The only thing that it does not do is it doesn't keep your filters. So remember to not pick up a Spidertron that has filters because you're gonna have to redo all the work. To show you how this is best done, I'm just, I'm not going to sit in the thing. And I want this Spider-Tron to go, for example, to, let's build something out here, say. So we have that little icon there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and build a little outpost. We're going to pretend build an outpost out to these mineral areas. So let's go ahead and build this. I'm going to get that first thing right nearby, but I don't want to destroy that radar because that radar is useful. All right, let's go and find some straight tracks. And these will slot into place. So this is what I was talking about, about, you know, having that limited visibility. And, uh, oh, but the Spider-Tron has a really nice visibility. Check that out. And the, and the robots, look at how fast they're going. They are having a great time. All right, Spider-Tron, why don't you go this way? And we're gonna place down more tracks, but this is such a nice way of doing automatic building here. And it will build as it goes, which is fantastic. You can kind of watch it go along, okay, or not. But yeah, the limited, um, and maybe the speed is, is designed to be a tiny bit slower. Maybe that's actually better. So that you can switch between blueprints and, um, and your uh, remote control. So it would be nice if the Spidertron had a greater radar capacity and or allowed us just to build in non radar zones. That would be so handy. Now, as we see, we can, uh, we see area. Oh, wow, that was so cool. You could see like the, the progress bar is filling on the rails there. Um, I have brought some radars, which is nice. So let's just have it place at least one of those down. And it, the radar range is greater than that of the Spidertron. So that kind of helps a bit. Uh, I did bring a blueprint for the building train outpost. So what n might be nice is to just, let's see, can we do this? If we do a shift click like that, for example, oh my goodness. I don't know if you heard that, but um, the, the Cats of Sky have a new member and I'll show you pictures uh, another time. But anyway, uh, here we have our train station and the reason for having the items in the Spider-Tron that I do are to build this train station. And guess what? I'm glad I did this because apparently I forgot a couple of stack inserters. So I'm gonna add those to the Spider-Tron inventory when it gets back. And that will be on um, in those chests. And I'll try to provide a blueprint for you. Now I did this half in regular concrete and hazard and then half in refined. Uh, just in case you want either design, I'll probably just produce one design that does one kind and another design that does the second kind. But you can, build the entire rest of the outpost from space you know put down mining drills uh anything else you want blueprints from space and even if the spider tron can't build it build it that's not important what is important though is that you have the, the power lines the robo ports and those kinds of things so that the building train can get all this stuff out of the chests and start actually building this outpost. Remember to go back to those uh, gaps that you might have missed uh, and put radars down there as well. So let's see, we can put one down over here. All right, there we go. And it is there and all of a sudden we have this beautiful space. So it's not fully automatic as we would kind of want. Like I would love to build out in the non-radared area because why not? Um, 
but you know, at least the devs have given us some really great tools to get there. And I think maybe the, the point is not to have a fully automated thing. Um, I did find out that you can't load this from a chest, not like, like a car. These guys are above everything. So inserters are not able to kind of put stuff into the trunk of the spider tron that's why i don't have any inserters here you have to manually load it oh and here is the other spider tron hello how you doing so now that it's used a few different materials we can um, put any excess garbage like the wood and stone into the active provider chest or even better the robots will take it if you have it in your logistics slots now, when you're thinking about loading your second Spider-Tron, this one might be well used for defending yourself or uh, or your base, going out and killing biter bases so that you'll have plenty of, um, plenty of room for expansion. So I've put in two reactors. I don't know what the optimal ratios for things are. You can put in personal laser equipment, you can put in energy shields. I'm not sure if you would need a personal roboport, maybe for, um, for having repairs. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you can also put in batteries. Don't forget about those. So let's put in one personal roboport here. And of course you would want to fill it to the brim with all kinds of rockets, ammo, whatever. Now you can use any kind of rockets, including atomic bombs. However, detonating one of these nearby is not a great idea. So, all right, so we have two, four personal laser defense, two energy shields, one robo port. Let's go ahead and grab um, a set of bots and we'll grab a set of, there we go, repair packs. There we go. Let's put those in. Repair packs. There we go. Okay, and we're going to send this one out to, where shall we send it? Let's send it up north over here. And let's get our control, remote control, and then watch it go. Now this one does not have an extra exoskeleton. So let's just wait for it to go up there. Now I was hoping it would uh, get all the way up here, but it hasn't. So it's hit a tiny snag. It's like, oh, I really want to go across this green water. Green water, of course, being very polluted as uh, the devs have made that change recently. Uh, I think it's kind of cool to have like this green, yucky, slimy water with uh, full of algae and all that stuff. So let's take our spider tron up here. It can kind of go across to islands a tiny bit, um, but yeah, if it uh, sometimes it doesn't have the best AI, I think when it goes uh, around stuff. All right, so we're here at this wall. I think we're not gonna have to worry because the spider tron can step over the wall. There it goes. Yep. Now, one thing that the Spider-Tron does not do is it cannot trample bases. So when you have your Spider-Tron going along, you'll need to uh, shoot at stuff. And we are going to be shooting at stuff. Let's see. We have a whole bunch of behemoths. We're going to shoot a bunch of rockets. There goes the lasers and the rockets. Nice. All right. Okay, it's not shooting that fast, but I think I haven't, uh, this hasn't been a very military playthrough, so I might not have enough of the uh, damage on those things, but we are killing plenty of spawners. The behemoths, of course, have a ton of HP. We are getting down in our, uh, the energy shield, energy shield is completely gone. So let's see, let's see, we did really well. We still have some energy shield left and the robots are constantly repairing us. So that was a pretty, pretty good effort. Um, to make things a lot easier, you can just get an artillery train or something and go as close as you can. Yes, my little fuzzy. Yes, little one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Just sitting on the floor meowing at me. Uh, anyway, um, you can uh, shoot out most of the base if you want to, or you know what, just take your spider tron. You can have as many spider trons as you want. Well, I guess you can have a limited amount because each needs a remote control, but I'm sure there will be mods that will allow you to like automate them in general. So, but yeah, here's taking out another base. It works so nicely. Wow, look at this. And this is all without a pilot. I am not in this Spider-Tron. This is just remotely controlled. And let's take out this base here. And I, oh my god, the sounds. Whoa. Crazy. 
All right. Okay, you're next. And now keep in mind, this is with regular rockets. This is not with... Let's see if we can see. Can we look inside our Spider-Tron? No, we have to be nearby. But it just does just have regular rockets, as you can see. 339 left. And then I'll just bring it back here to refill it. So... In these requester chests, I would recommend having one set for one Spider-Tron, one set for another. But that doesn't limit you to just two. Have, um, fill new ones while ones are out in the world. It does take them a fair amount of time to walk. You see how slow it is without any exoskeletons. So just plan around that. But yeah, two more biter bases absolutely gone. This is really, really a nice tech to have. Oh, I bet it's going to get stuck. Let's see. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at the reach there. That's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, not, not very useful. I hope that the devs will improve the AI on this because that eh, could be a tiny bit annoying trying to like keep track of where your spider trons are. But in general, this is a fantastic way to have extra use out of your building train. Remember to check out that particular video if you haven't seen it yet. It's a lot of fun and uh, I hope you'll get around to it. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.